Hi hi hello and welcome back to another video about the world of Warcraft, the War Within Alpha gameplay and features. This time around we're going to be talking about Delphs and here is everything we know so far. There are different difficulty levels, tier 1 to tier 11, although they're supposed to not matter for the rewards. You can go with NPCs or a party and you just have to follow the main quest objective, whether that is collecting candles or other rewards. In the end, there is going to be a final boss and some loot for you and even some extra bonus stuff like herbs and ores that your NPC can harvest for you if he's running along with you. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fungal Folly and Craigwell's Rest. I will say I broke one of the delves. But first, let's talk about the basics. If you venture into the delves on your own, you get to choose what speciality your NPC is supposed to be. I usually ran Bran as a healer because I'm a DPS and that just makes sense. Now, there is one item in here that I do want to put your attention towards and it is this socketing item. Add one sockets to an amulet or ring. Jewelry can have up to two sockets. This is the main reason why I think these are going to be relevant for late game and higher rating and all of that but that's basically the only thing now we also now know that there is a vault track but in an interview the devs told us that the gear that you're supposed to get from delves is going to sit around the plus eight key marker so it shouldn't be too important in terms of gearing i just think you're going to be running in here whenever you need some extra new sockets and hopefully that's not going to take too long but let's take a look at how they work Whenever you enter a delve, there is a main objective quest line. And this time around, I was supposed to rescue 10 scouts. There's also always a map mechanic in the delve I showed previously. It was the webbing one where whenever you step on a web, you spawn more mobs. In the fungal folly, it is uh, the spores that you can see on the screen that just wander around. And if you actually go into their range, they blow up and then jump away, which I found honestly a little bit annoying, but uh, not too bad really. And then whenever you see some chests anywhere, you can collect them and usually you'll find powers in these extra chests to make your life just a little bit easier. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about where I think Delves are going to be falling in that spectrum of Mage Tower to Torghast. The difficulty seems to be arbitrary from everything we've heard so far. There's not supposed to be reward differences for higher difficulties. So I personally assume that there is going to be a very difficult level, like level 11. That's probably just going to be done for prestige and achievements. And then anything else, you're probably just going to run them like you did plus eight dungeons back in Legion for anybody that remembers. People used to run these for AP farm and just do like an hour of these a week or something like that. And I think obviously when you first need sockets, you're going to be running these a little bit more if there are available uh, without a reputation lock. We don't know that just yet, but later in the game, I think... Like I said before, you're just going to be running in here whenever you need a new socket and it's probably going to be really fast. That's what I think. Let me know what you think. I heard a lot of different takes on it. Some people saying that they're like the withered scenario back in Soromar. Some other people saying they're like Torghast or even like Visions back in BFA. Truth is, there is a lot of these varieties and I just think that this one is probably going to be less terrible than Torghast, but I'm also a little bit of a hater. I just generally do not like this kind of content where you're just running in because you have to run in there and it's not really that fun. So I'm curious how it's going to change. So that was delve number two. Before we head into delve number three, I do want to point your attention towards a giveaway that's currently running on my Twitter, where you get a bonus entry if you follow this YouTube channel. You can win an epic edition of The War Within, which includes beta access. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to be putting that link in my description box. And I hope you guys like that giveaway. Now this delve, I broke. 
you have to run around with a candle here and I was really set on trying to figure out what happens if you lose a candle, do you die, do you get rooted, like what's the deal with that? And so I ran around just a little bit to try and get rid of that candle, it just gets smaller over time. So let's take a look at how that played out. Because the main objective here is to collect these treasures and some of these treasures are quite literally in the middle of candles, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was, but I managed to turn the lights off. It worked for quite some time, but then it completely bugged out. I was one shot by a fireball and I could not reset this delve. Every time I went back in there, I was on the same quest progress. And I don't know if that's a bug or if that's a feature, to be honest with you. Like if you're supposed to be able to continue where you left off, but because mine was bugged, because I was missing one of the items, for me, it was just impossible to finish this delve you can just check it out until there. I think the only thing that's missing is that final boss because I really did everything else and I'd appreciate it if you do all that pizzazz that YouTubers tell you to do, like comment, subscribe and leave a like. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and I hope you enjoy this content. I'm hoping that I can deliver more content like that. Let me know what you're interested in and I'll try to get it out there. Until next time, thank you guys.